Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. I'm going to be doing an installation of the PRL Stage 1 intake on the 1.5T Honda Accord 2018-2019. Uh, um, this is a Stage 1 kit, guys. Um, it's nothing out of the norm. Um, all you're going to be is replacing that hose where you see that there. And you're going to be uh, replacing the stock um, filter. This, is, uh, this one here is a high flow high performance uh, drop-in filter so you're going to be using the stock air box um, and then you know replacing that tube there it's very easy it looks a little bit more complicated than it is but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through on what you need to do to prep this and make it easier so let's get started all right guys the first thing to uh, pre-prep the intake hose what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to put in you know the secure brackets one on each side um, doesn't matter which but what I ended up doing is the one that's open up much wider which is where the wider tube is that's where I put that one and where the thinner tube is I'll put the one that's much smaller and you want to put this one here this is where the flange is gonna go um, so you want to do that first once you have that what you want to do is go ahead and place the, the, the socket here the flange one there and then I'll show you what else you got to do Alright, so this is the piece that goes in the center. I uh, keep calling it flange, I don't even know if that's even the correct term or whatnot. What you want to put is this bracket right here with the two screws. I wouldn't tighten it just yet because we got to go ahead and maneuver this correctly. And on this hole, what you're going to use is a stock screw that's on here, which I'll show you right where it is. Um, but this is the part that's going to go on the actual intake on the top. This is to secure basically this whole part onto the vehicle and everything starts making sense once you once you start assembling it but basically this is going to go in a piece that goes right here right where the uh, this piece is right now so um, this is where this piece is going to get connected to then this gets held on by this screw that's right here um, with this bracket right here and then we're just going to go ahead and tighten this the hardest part here is removing all this there's all different types of screws here um, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you each one how do you do it you know to successfully go ahead and remove the stock hose out of the uh, vehicle uh, one thing I want to point out um, since we're not removing the map sensor or anything like that um, I don't believe it's required to go ahead and remove the battery um, terminals so but if you feel more secure and safe you can go ahead and do that as also an option I'm not gonna do it um, just because I'm not messing with the map sensor, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and go to the next steps. All right, guys, I'm using a 732 socket, um, so you guys can kind of see that there. It's a 732 socket, and then um, what I'm doing is to facilitate. I'm using that socket to remove this um, bracket here, which is one, two, three sorry and four so I basically just loosen them up I already did this already but so that we're not spending so much time on the video you just want to go ahead and loosen all those brackets off and you want to start removing it piece by piece I believe that the best way to do is go ahead and remove this hose out of here uh, first and then we'll go ahead and remove this second part the second part is being held by 10 millimeter bolts um, which is one here, one here, and then the two um, that are located here are also there. It's very important, guys, that in order to get down to this bottom screw that's down there, you want to go ahead and have an extension just like this. This is more than enough. Um, if you have a bigger one, that's okay. It's much easier to get to the screw that's down here in this area right below this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue removing this. I'm going to remove this part. This is already loose. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this part here. All you have to do is kind of wiggle uh, this part out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. Um, and we'll go ahead and take that from there. One area at a time, right? So let's go ahead and wiggle this out. And we have that part out. I'm going to go ahead and work on this one now do is this joint from this little gap that's right there and this part is out 
and go ahead and put this to the side. And now we're going to go ahead and work on this area right here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and start unscrewing these here. Again, they're 10 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and start the unscrewing. And again, guys, I had already started. But just so that you guys get a feel of this. We have that. And then we have this one here. So again, guys, in this area, there's two of these. 10 millimeters, okay? There's one at the bottom. And I, wanna, I like to do this with my finger because you don't want to be losing this screw in the middle of the engine. So the best way to do it is to go ahead and use your fingers or whatnot. tray down here so what you want to do is use that to get this screw out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of this to remove the whole bracket Go ahead and finalize that for you guys now and I'll show you what you do next guys so removing this piece is uh, a mission so what I ended up doing is move the camera a little bit here um, put this to the side for now um, for this piece so that it comes off easier what I did is I stuck a screwdriver here very carefully without ripping the hose it's a kind of tuck because this has been on here for so long that it just kind of stays stuck so I use a screwdriver to kind of move this once I had this hose off this part just came off easily so um, and then on this area right here this part here all you have to do once you have that other left side removed you just kind of wiggle up and down like this because it's being held by a pressure washer here and uh, this part just comes off so now we're gonna ready to go ahead and install the PRO intake now and uh, we're gonna install the hose and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Okay, so I got this installed. So what you wanna do is work on the tube on this area first. You're gonna tuck it in and then you're gonna have a limited space here a little bit, but if you just kind of wiggle it, everything around, you eventually will get this part in here. Um, you don't wanna tighten these clamps just yet until you um, tighten these screws back on. Um, so you tighten them back on. These are 10 millimeters, like I said. Um, you'll hear my baby on the background, by the way. <laughs> Um, so the 10 millimeters you go ahead and you put that on there and then this bracket as well here You don't want to go ahead and tighten these yet until you get the screw um, On this side right here. What you want to do is remove one of the rubber grommets from the uh, piece that you removed previously There's two of them. Um, I removed the one that's in the same location. So this comes out. There's also a metal um, washer insert that goes on there um, and you're gonna use that in that location right there now one important thing that I encounter guys, um, I don't know why, um, PRO did not include a longer screw. I got lucky that I had a longer screw just by a few millimeters and this made the job much easier. Um, using the stock screw, I just couldn't tighten that you know, to a very nice level where it's secured. So um, just a side note there guys and uh, just keep that in mind. So I was able to get that. You want to get this in here that way. Um, and the reason you don't want to tighten these clamps is because you want to move the holes so that this goes ahead and aligns with the hole And then once you have this one tightened on then you can go ahead and start positioning everything again tighten these uh, clamps here on both sides and You can start tightening everything on including this one here as well So once you have all this tightened down that is basically it guys the rest is to go ahead and um, put in the drop-in 
high flow air filter which I'm gonna go ahead and do now and I'll show you how to do that to get to there there's a there's a clip right here I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about it's this one right here all you're gonna have to do is unclamp that and then the last one is this one here you want to be really careful with this one because this has a plastic removable piece and you can lose this happened to me once I was able to recover it um, so you go ahead and you remove that so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that um, and uh, we'll go ahead and take it from there guys okay, so once you remove this hinge right here all you have to do is kind of tuck this you know forward and up and you're gonna go ahead and take off the filter filter rotations like this with this tab on here so that's exactly how you're gonna put in the PRO one so I already removed it as you can see it was you know pretty dirty anyways so perfect chance to go ahead and do this so I'm going to lift the air box make sure it sits on correctly Tuck, there's two tabs in the back um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck in and then uh, basically that secures the, the system and we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, hinges back on and we're gonna go ahead and lock it in place guys okay, so you're gonna go ahead and secure this clip back on basically like that this one here I'm gonna go ahead and move the angle a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing because Took me a while to figure this out and I think it's gonna help people. Um, this basically the piece goes tucked in like this and you're gonna push up. Don't be scared, there's it creates pressure basically. It looks like you're gonna break it off. But there it is. Basically it gets tucked in here, the bottom piece, you tuck it in, you close, and you're secure. And then snaps in place, and basically that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, give it a few revs, just so you guys can hear. Um, shouldn't create too much of a whooshing noise or whatnot, because it's a closed air box, um, and it's not a, a, a cone-shaped um, intake or whatnot, so it's not open, so you won't hear that much. But I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. I started pouring here a little bit, so I'm going to go in the car. Um, hopefully, you guys can go ahead and enjoy that. All right, guys, so that was a few reps there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take one last shot up around here so you guys, um, you know, so we can wrap it up, basically. All right, guys, so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop it below. I know I didn't cover most of the hands-on on here and try to explain it the best I could. But if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Um, I didn't want you guys to go ahead and see the whole struggle. It is a little bit complicated when you get to the to the whole section, but eventually you'll figure it out once everything um, that I described it will make sense once you have it on there. But anyways, guys, go ahead and drop your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys have a very blessed day. Boosted Whips. I'm out.